Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this iPhone. The front and the back are different and it's double layers. For this iPhone I used 340 rubber bands and I'm going to make it a row less so it'll be slightly shorter and it'll use less rubber bands. This design is based off of my peacock technique where we're going to use the loom in this configuration. However, we're going to need to move the pin bars around as we um, make our iPhone. So you'll definitely need to use this loom to make the iPhone. So let's get started. First we are going to make these holding rubber bands and I'm using clear for the front of our phone and I've attached it to another band so I can see and pulling it across so this this holding band will be holding our creation together across six um, pin bars. And also you'll need a, another set of six holding bands for the back of the phone. I'm going to show you how to make two. So you'll need to make six for the front of your phone and then six for the back. So to make it, my phone will be teal. So I'm taking two single rubber bands and then pushing one end through through the other and then just tying a slip knot. So there's one of my holding band. Again, the blue band will be just a um, marker so I can see where my holding bands are as we're doing our creation. Again, I'm doing another one with you, taking two single rubber bands, slip one through the other, creating the loops like that and then pulling it through to tie a slip knot. So there are my holding bands. So go ahead and pause the video to make 12 of them. To start, I'm taking two single teal bands and placing it on the first peg on the right side of my loom and then another two set of bands on the second to last peg on my loom and these will be our connector band. Now taking two single bands, we're using two at a time, coming from the center to the right first peg. Please loop in the order that I'm looping the bands. The next one, we're coming across the top from the left to the center and now we'll just come down the left side with two single bands all the way to the second peg from the bottom. Again, we're always using two single bands. My last two bands for this row, stopping right there. Now we'll come down the center and the right side with two single bands, coming down twice on the center and coming down three times on the right side. For the back of the iPhone, I'm going to attempt to make the Apple logo is not going to look exactly alike because we're using rubber bands, but I'm going to try to see if I can get it close. I think the smiley face will be cute, but I'm going to try to make the Apple logo for this tutorial. So we are here. Now we're going to put the leaf for the Apple logo. So taking two black bands coming from the center third peg to the right fourth peg. Coming down with two teal bands, center third to fourth, and then on the right side, and stop there. So we have two sets of bands coming down four times on both the right side and the center. 
and now we'll put two single black bands across right there and we'll come down three times with two single black bands on the right side of our loom and in the center we'll come down with two single teal bands and this should create that bitten part of the apple I hope I haven't made the logo yet and now we'll take two single black bands and we'll come diagonally from the center to the right side of our loom and come down once more with two single black bands on the right side and then finishing it off with two single teal bands to the second peg from the bottom for both rows stop there now taking two single teal bands coming from the right to the center make sure you loop in that order and then from the center to the left side and that should complete the one side of the back of your iPhone now taking a single band and capping the left second peg from the bottom four times now let's put the connector bands I'm taking this ones that are the same color as the back of my iPhone and make sure we have this marker rubber band sticking out on the right side and just continue up skipping one I have six of them because I used 12 looms in my prior creation so we'll see how it works out we might not need all six if you're making it 12 pegs long then you'll need all six because you'll skip one put the holding bands on skip one put the holding bands on again the marker bands are sticking out and for our last one we'll just stick it on this first two row doesn't hurt to have more holding bands push it down and now let's start looping go under the cap band grabbing the top two loops and loop up and onto the center go into the center peg grabbing the top two loops and it should go to the right side and let's loop up the center reaching in grabbing the bottom two bands and loop up and onto itself and can keep looping up until we get to the diagonal black band in the center so stop there come to the right side reaching in grabbing the bottom two bands but don't grab the connector bands down here just grabbing those two that's on the loom and loop it up creating the teardrop and these connector bands are still loose and hanging there continue up the right side I'm on my black now we reach the black diagonal bands so reaching in grabbing those top two bands and looping it up and diagonally to the center we continue up the right side just looping it up and onto itself just make sure these marker bands are pulled straight out to the side continue up my 
black bands stopping where these two black bands are coming across. Let's loop up the center, reaching, grabbing the bottom two, and pulling it on to itself. And here we'll grab, we'll reach, and here we'll reach in the right side, pulling the top two black bands and looping it to the center peg like that. And let's loop up to the black diagonal band on the center. and loop the right. Make sure you're looping in the same order as I am to the diagonal band. Reaching in, grabbing the two black bands and looping it to the center, to the third center peg. And now we can just loop our bands up to the right corner. Finishing up the center, push everything down, we're going to add our second layer, the front of our iPhone, push all our bands all the way down, we have not looped the left side of our loom yet, so this is what yours should look like at this point. We're going to add the front of our iPhone, taking two teal color bands and coming down on the center first to the center second. Make sure the bottom bands are pushed down. We're going to be working in layers. Again, on the right side, two single teal bands coming down once. And we'll add the black coming down with two single bands all the way to the third peg from the bottom. So for the center and right row, we added two, a set of two bands for the first to the second and the rest will do black for the screen and you can use whatever color you want for the screen. And don't put any bands on the left side of our loom. This is our last two set of black bands for both rows. And for the last two from the third to the second to last peg, I'm looping with two teal bands. So that's what it should look like. And now I'm taking two teal bands covering from the right to the center. Make sure you loop in that order. And two teal bands from the center to the left. And let's put our holding bands. We'll do it on the same pegs. So taking the one that is clear so we can't see and pulling it across like that. Skipping that row, covering that one, just go down like we did for our prior holding bands. Making sure our marker 
rubber bands. This one is purple. Are sticking out on the right side. So our second layer, the front of our screen is on for our iPhone. Let's get some icon on our hook. You can use whatever color you want. I'm starting with purple, looping it four times on my hook, pushing it up. Let's get a few of them on there. Just using any random color ones, just taking a single and looping it four times. So I have four icons on my hook and we're going up each of these rows and it's going to cover the left side of our screen right now. So these two black, so think about the color icon that you want on your hook. Let's loop, we're going on the left side of our loom and pushing up the cap band, pulling the top two loops under it and we're going to reach in under the cap band and we're going to pull those two bands under the cap band and looping it right to the center and continue go in the center underneath the teardrops grabbing the top two bands and it should create a nice teardrop going to the right so that's what it should look like. We're working in layers. Now let's go in the center. We're reaching in, pulling back the teardrop, grabbing the two bands in the center. You should see the nice teardrop. Make sure you don't grab the bottom ones. We're working in layers, remember? We're just grabbing the top two bands and looping up, and you should see the nice teardrop. And loop up. The first set of black bands in the center and looping it onto itself, creating the teardrop. This came off, fix it. Continue up the center, reaching in, grabbing only the two black bands and going to put my first icon on, pulling the icon off of my hook and right onto the two loops we just pulled off and then looping it onto itself creating the teardrop so my first icon is on continue up the center looping it three times one two Three. Remember to only grab the top two bands. I'm going to add my next icon on these two loops. So pulling it out, scooching my icon off of my hook, and attaching it onto the black bands and looping it onto itself. So that's my first. Let's do two more only grabbing the top two. Once you pull it out, you should be able to see the teardrop like that. Then getting your icon on there. Onto the two black bands, the loops, and then looping it onto itself. Continue up. My last icon for this row. And finish looping to the first center peg. And remember you're looping in layers, so only grabbing the top two bands. Let's do the right side. Again, I'm getting more icons. Determine what you want in the color and order that you want. I'll do five in this row. Loop it 
looping each four times on your hook. So there are my five icons for this row. So reaching in the right side, working in layers under the teardrops, grabbing only the top two bands and looping it up and onto itself. Make sure you pull the marker bands out and you don't loop those. Pull everything back, grabbing only the top two black bands and loop it up and onto itself. Continue. This is my first icon. It's on the second black band from the top. And looping it back onto itself. One, two, and the third one, I'm going to add my next icon, and you can add your icon wherever you want on your screen. Just make sure you pull those two bands up and then looping it back onto itself, creating the teardrop. And the last black, I'm using it as the screen color, so I'm not putting an icon on. Then looping the last teal for the edge of my screen onto the right first peg. So now let's loop the left side of our loom, going under, grabbing the bottom two bands and looping it up. Just continue up that row, making sure you pull the holding bands back, only looping up the bottom two bands. And continue up to the first left peg. So that's what you should have so far. All the rows are looped up. The center and the right side are double layered. Let's finish up the top pegs, reaching under on the left side, grabbing the bottom two bands, and loop up to the center first peg, reaching in the center peg, grabbing only the bottom two bands, and looping it up to the right first peg. And that's where we will connect our phone. So release any tension and check to make sure that these two bands are catching all these loops from the center. Now let's take the center and the left rows off of our loom. Be careful not to take the right side off. Everything's off of the center and the left pegs. And now we're going to shift our loom, pulling the right row off of our loom. And we're going to shift it to the left side of our loom and moving the left pin bar to the right side. So that's what it should look like right now. 
push everything down. Now taking two single bands and we're using it as connector bands again. We're put, placing it on the right first peg and the second to last peg. Taking two single teal bands coming from the right to the center, pushing it down. And let's pull these connector bands from the bottom left first peg and connect it to the center. So that's what it should look like. And let's come down our loom with two single teal bands. We'll come down four times. Two, three, four. And we'll do the same for the center pegs with two bands, making sure our marker rubber bands are out of the way. for our holding bands. Four. Now with our two black bands we'll come across from the right fifth to the center fifth. Coming down three times with two black bands down the center. So that's one, two, three, coming down twice on the right side with two black bands, and then coming diagonally from the right to the center. And coming with two black bands down the center once, and the rest will do teal all the way to the second peg from the bottom. Repeat for the center. Now with two single teal bands coming from the right to the center and then grabbing the connector bands from the bottom on the left side of our peg and connecting it to the center. And now let's pull the marker for our holding bands and we're going to use the ones that are for the back of the phone. Mine is the teal and it's marked with the blue bands and we're putting it on the same row as the other set. So pulling your holding bands and pulling it across to hold our phone together. Don't break your bands. Make sure the holding bands for the front of our phone doesn't get tangled. We'll add that in a little bit. And now let's loop going under on the left side of our loom, grabbing only the bottom two bands, and loop up into the center and it's tight. Be careful not to break your bands. You can release the tension by putting the back of your hook and following around your peg. Go in the center, grabbing the top two bands, and it should be the one going to the right side. And I'm going to loop up the center to the first black bands, looping the black bands up to the diagonal, stop there on the right side, reaching in, grabbing the bottom two, not the connector bands at the bottom, leaving those free and dangling right now, and just looping up the right side creating teardrops as you go. 
and we're looping it up to where the black diagonal band starts right there now reaching in the center grabbing the two top black bands and looping it diagonally to the right side now let's loop the center black bands to the this, this peg where the, these two black bands are sitting across. Stop there, loop the right side up to the black band that's going across from the right to the center, reaching in, grabbing the top two black band from the right side, looping it to the center. And now loop both rows up to the first peg. Make sure you have teardrops up and down your creation, otherwise it will come apart. Push it down. We're going to add the front of our iPhone now. For the front of our iPhone, same thing, we're adding first two bands for the first and second peg, teal, and then coming down with black all the way to the third peg from the bottom for the center and the right side of our loom. We're working in layers. So the back of our phone is done for the time being. And we're working on the screen. And this will be the last row for our screen. If you want to make it wider, you can. I'm just going to make it six pegs wide. Stop there. And for the last set, putting the teal bands on it like that. And it's important, again, you follow my looping, taking two teal bands working in layers. We're coming from the right to the center and two teal bands from the center to the left. And once again we're going to pull these two teal bands all the way down. We're going to reach in the left side all the way past all those loops grabbing those, those two bands we just pulled under and looping it up and onto itself and it's tight don't force it you might break your bands and release any tension now in the center we're reaching in past the teardrop that we just put on grabbing the top two bands and looping it to the right side so that's what it should look like, a little thick. And let's get some icons on. And we're working on these two rows now. So determine what color you want your icons to be. Taking the single band and looping it four times on your hook. I'm doing it for both rows. So I have six. You can have more.
Before we go on, let's put our holding bands. So reaching in, grabbing our marker, rubber band, and placing our holding bands straight across. important you put it on otherwise your creation will come apart. My holding bands are on. Now let's finish the center and the right side. So in the center reaching under grabbing only the top two bands and looping it up and onto itself. Remember we're working in layers so we only want to grab the top two bands my first black, my second one, I'm adding my icon putting it on the loops and then creating the teardrop looping it up four times making sure you pull back any holding bands don't loop those up along with your black bands all the way to the first center peg on the right side same thing reaching in grabbing only the top two bands making sure you have the nice teardrop and loop up and onto itself forget to put your icon on and don't grab the bottom bands just grab the, bo uh, the top two because we're working in layers once again Finally, looping the top row, reaching all the way in, grabbing the bottom two bands, and very carefully, don't break your bands, release any tension, looping it to the center, and in the center, grabbing only the bottom two bands, and looping it to the right first peg. Again, these bands are very tight. There's lots of them, so do not break your bands. Make sure you take the back of your hook and follow around your peg to release your bands. So now we're going to take the left and the center row off again, making sure the right side do not come off the loom. So my bands are off of the left and center pegs and like my peacock technique we're removing the right side of our loom and replacing it with the left pin bar. So we're moving the left side 
and moving it to the right side of our lamb. And this is my last row. I'm just only using the center peg. So I'm taking the connector bands from the bottom and looping it to the center peg. We'll take two single teal bands coming down the center of our loom all the way to the second peg from the bottom. And making sure that our marker bands aren't looped around the pegs. This is our last row. You can make your phone wider if you want, but uh, this is my last row. And lastly, we're taking the connector band from the left side and attaching it to the center second peg from the bottom. And now let's put all our holding bands getting our marker bands and pulling it very carefully, both holding bands and attaching it to those pegs. This is our last row, so we're just going to attach them both at the same time. Pull them carefully, don't break it. So that's what it should look like. And now let's loop. Go in the side left peg, grabbing the bottom two bands, the very, very bottom, and looping it up to the center. Release any tension. So let's loop the center pegs, reaching, grabbing the bottom two bands, looping it up, creating teardrops, and making sure you only grab the bottom two bands. Don't loop up any holding bands. So here, if you want to add the little camera on the back of your iPhone, I put it on the, the um, right side here, it should be on the left. You can do it on the third row on the holding band that's for the back of the phone. I forgot to do that for the last row that we did. So we can try it here, taking your single black band looping it four times on a hook and we'll grab the holding band for the back of our phone minus teal and let's pull those loops onto our holding band again I should have done it when we're doing the screen but since I thought of it now let's see if it'll be okay and putting the holding band back onto that peg. And let's finish looping up our row, making sure you only grab the bottom two bands. We're up to the center first. And lastly, reaching in the left first peg, grabbing the bottom two bands and don't force your rubber bands again they will break and making sure that teardrop catches all those bands now let's tie our phone off putting a hook in the center peg making sure you go through all the bands and grab your slip knot band and tie it off Let's take our phone off the loom.
There's our iPhone. Push it in and tug it so it's straight. So for these marker bands, we're going to just untie it and get it off our holding bands. And if you can't get it off, don't break your holding bands. Just cut the marker bands. So my marker bands are off. Make sure you square it off and tuck in the charm string. And there's my attempt at the Apple logo. Didn't quite go as I want, but again you can make whatever logo you want. And the camera needs to be a little bit further and we can just pull it through on the other side. There's the camera for my iPhone. So there's the iPhone. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.